Alrighty, what's up guys? My own uh, Adlon Yintanan and welcome back to our PSEI overview. Uh, looking at uh, February 6th to 10th, 2017. Uh, our last review was back in January before Donald Trump's inauguration. So it's been a month since we had that review, but then again, uh, uh, the review, that review, is already giving out the general uh, general outlook of what could happen in uh, January which is basically a sideway movement uh, we did look into a possibility of that to happen so let's see what could February offer us and uh, what uh, we could expect in the next coming days especially for the next week so with that being said let's look at our chart great right, we're back in our chart so uh, it's uh, been a month since was, since we've had our um, review for PSEI uh, back in uh, January before the inauguration of Donald Trump um, but you know, then again as I mentioned those uh, uh, previous review uh, we're looking at uh, bearish movement or even sideways so it did happen uh, I, I, you can check the link below and see what we've had um, January, where 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 we are uh, where we are looking at for PSEI. So uh, let's just uh, just a quick uh, quick view. Uh, we've mentioned that we are reaching at uh, this resistance uh, zone, resistance area right here. This is what we were looking at. So we were moving uh, on an uptrend uh, on our previous review. I'm talking about our previous review, uh, January. And I said, I said or mentioned that we're hitting a resistance zone or area. So most likely we would be seeing uh, some pullbacks pullbacks or it price action to move sideways in this case after after Donald Trump's inauguration we did see a sideway movement if you could uh, see the latest uh, uh, February this is uh, February 3 3rd uh, the last uh, Friday so we are actually looking at the sideway movement now what could we expect for February given that we had this price action movement so there are two um, there are two possibilities that we are looking at first is that at this move right here the one that they uh, uh, trace an arrow with we are looking at the uh, double top formation double top uh, double top formation those are uh, bearish bearish uh, formation so we have an uptrend and then we hit resistance and we pull back and then we retest resistance and then we pull down now to complete the double top formation in order for this to be completed price action would close below this previous structure support or previous structure low so that means to say next week on the next uh, coming days if we see price action close below it then we are definitely seeing a double top formation and what would what it would uh, tell us is that once it's closed down uh, our previous structure low it's creating a new low so most likely it would continue to move uh, downward so we're uh, you gonna look, look at some price action moving this way before it could turn uh, reverse back again especially right now that there are 20 uh, 20 plus uh, mining companies that have been suspended which basically hits uh, the overall performance of PS, uh, PSE so you can expect some uh, really sharp uh, effect on the price action. 
okay but since we're doing technical analysis it's just like we're just looking at some uh, uh, congruence all right congruence we're based we're all technical right here by looking at the formation not uh, looking into uh, fundamentals news this right here is already telling you that we are forming possibly forming a double top formation which is a bearish pattern another formation or another uh, scenario that uh, we are also looking at is that it could possibly be a ascending triangle okay. looking at an ascending triangle so what does uh, an extra ascending triangle mean? Well, ascending triangle, it's also a bearish pattern, right? It's a bearish pattern. So basically, we test the resistance, we pull back, we test it again, we pull back, and then this could possibly test again if it wouldn't break this resistance area. Possibly that price action could move downward it could continue to move uh, or reverse uh, downward so that's uh, the ascending triangle but note that ascending triangle is not an absolute reversal pattern okay I repeat ascending triangle is not an absolute uh, reversal or a bearish pattern what I mean about that is that uh, ascending triangle could be a continuation pattern, depending depending on uh, the previous trend. Okay. So what I mean about that, let me erase erase all of these. Depending on the previous trend, if you see an ascending triangle on a, um, a bullish or a bullish move an uptrend this could be a pause or this could be a consolidation period for this particular upward move okay we have an uptrend and then we pull back we try to test resistance we pull back so this is creating um, uh, a consolidation area for this particular move so there is there is still a possibility that we are looking at the continuation pattern for the PSEI okay so that's those are the possibilities that we have number one we're forming a uh, uh, double top formation which is a bearish uh, formation that's a bearish pattern so ex you, we could probably expect um, okay, um, continue uh, move uh, move down continuation uh, second is a triangle ascending triangle formation ascending triangle in general that's a reversal pattern still but there is a condition uh, it's not absolute that it's all reversal there are instances that ascending triangle could also mean a continuation uh, pattern on the previous uh, previous move which is in this case uptrend now how would we filter our bias okay now we're trying to filter we're trying to feel where the market is going so that's what we're looking at Asa mani padung kung ang ascending triangle is reversal. So na okay na siya. Pero ang ascending triangle, if you are from an uptrend, this could also mean that it's a continuation. That price action are just relaxing a bit, losing tension, losing, uh, fighting over bulls and bears, consolidation phase. It could mean that it could also move up right now here's what we're gonna do we need a filter we need uh, we, we'll get an oscillator so I'm gonna do uh, 
uh, RSI, RSI, relative strength index. So this way we would be able to test this, this thre uh, the strength of the move, the strength of the uh, uh, candles or the uh, the trend. So we have an uptrend move. We've reached oversold condition. And then we retrace back. After that we retracement, we move back again. And then we pull back. So for those who are already, you know, uh, experienced in looking at uh, oscillators, we are now forming a bearish divergence okay bearish divergence so meaning to say this move right here this oversold move we retrace back and then we try to recover but this move is weak if you look at here we have the same level of move then we ex uh, then you are expecting that it could peer, uh, or um, break out but then again, super resistance area, we're, we, we pull back. And looking at RSI, relative strength index, that move is weak. So our bias now is a continua uh, downward continuation. Simple? That's very simple. That's very simple to look at. That's how you analyze price action without you even looking at, uh, without you even looking at news, uh, reading news. Uh, we sort out all the noise. We look at price action. We are looking at what um, price uh, price action offers offers us tech traders. Okay. So if you are looking, if you are, if you are ha um, handling positions with, uh, with uh, handling positions, those are greatly affected by um, the index. And then you're trying to ask yourself whether you could recover or not. Then you could expect that it could move uh, even lower. Okay, even lower. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna create another video regarding uh, regarding the issue of F uh, FNEA global theoretical later. Uh, watch watch that video. Watch for that video that I'm gonna make uh, just to explain because there's a lot of people who were uh, ipid or there they've been uh, complaining about the false report from La Rappler and so on. Uh, that's very careless of those people. I'll tell you on that video how careless pe those people are, how they l lost their money in just an instance. Okay, so so far for PSEI, our bias for PSEI for the next couple of days, um, we're bearish. Okay, we're bearish, but that doesn't mean every stock would move down. There are, uh, there are stocks that are performing very well, not affected by uh, Donald Trump's inauguration. Uh, we're looking at Alco. We're looking at uh, Med, uh, STI. Those those uh, uh, stocks who are, who those who have positions uh, positions for those stocks. Uh, good job, good job for uh, spotting those uh, stocks. Uh, I have Med, uh, so I'm gaining money in Med. Uh, I, I was actually. I was actually losing um, IS. Inform uh, I did. I was losing I IS. Wait. Yes, I did. I did. Uh, I've lost IS. Now, what? What I did for Island Information. Uh, just, uh, just to quickly show you what I did for um, IS. Yeah. Now here's what I did. I entered around, yeah, two, right around here. Two point zero eight around here. 
because for the main reason that I saw uh, the crossover of moving average 20 and uh, moving average uh, 50 okay so I, I did make money I did make money supposedly if I, I cashed out or I pulled out position um, but then again later days uh, later days of January after uh, Donald Trump's inauguration Donald Trump's inauguration is 20 this this candle right here this just this is January 20 I saw that uh, it's a, a bullish candle then the next days it seems like it's moving red and I looked at moving average 20 and exponential moving average 13 crossed under a moving average 20 so it was a sign for me to move out okay it was a sign for me to move out so I lost a little bit money uh, actually it's <laughs> just one percent it's not that big one percent when I saw this when I saw this cross under I pulled the money out no questions asked even if even if I saw this moving average 20 and 50 crossed over because we're we're creating a lad a ladder uh, we're creating a ladder here uh, actually I've already written it down I would create a ladder but I did look at the strength of the move when I look at the strength of the move we did reach out oversold right about here and then this move when it, it crossed under when it crossed under it's below it's below the uh, previous structure support okay it's below previous structure support so that's a, a, a textbook indicator that you move out no questions asked move out take all your profit uh, profit if you still have one if you get a if you have a loss then just suck on it suck on that loss you could recover that later on it's just paper loss okay so that's what what I did so uh, yeah that, that's one uh, one way you look and analyze stock market so uh, yeah hopefully you've learned something from it check out my next video this is specially made for uh, uh, FNI uh, if you watch my previous video uh, I did uh, I, I did trade FNI before I took profit in that I was very uh, I was very happy about the profit I took from FNI before it it reversed so I wanted you guys to see how how people trading FNI on the wrong side okay so hopefully again don't, uh, hopefully you like this video uh, hit that like button hit that subscribe button share this to your friends uh, and I'll gonna see you in the next video Thank you.